All right, now what I want to do is show you uh, that by using brushes, you could use this layer mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's another way you could do this. And why I want to teach you this way is because I want you to get the idea that you don't have to use a brush on a brush. You can use a brush on a great deal of things. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is delete this layer mask. And instead of using that, I still have my path, however. So you can use it, a path in a great deal of ways too, but paths are very handy with um, this type of workflow. If I take my eraser tool, I could take and put a brush on it. In this case, I'm going to go with this brush right here. And I can go into the brush command. And again, I can whirly it around a little bit if I wanted to. Maybe add some angle jitter to it. Make it interesting. And instead of using the layer mask, I can just go like this. And it cuts into it the same way. Now, the difference between the two methods is I don't have any way to blur the outside edge where before I at least had that. Or do I? Now, a path is a path and everything follows a path using this command. If I go like this, there is a tool out here called the blur tool. Okay. And by default, it's really small. What I might want to do is make it a little bit bigger and let's pretend this brush is going to go from the center of this brush going all the way around here. Well, what I'm going to do is kind of space this out so I can touch the outside edge of this ornamental and maybe still be in the center of my circle with the line. So I'm just looking at it. I'm not clicking anywhere. Okay, good. If I go like this, And I'm going to have to do it a few times. You can start to see it getting blurry. And that's one way you can do that is the fact that it has the ability to go around the outside edge. Um, it's the blur tool. And guess what? The blur tool also has the ability to use brushes. So you got to get out the idea that Brushes are just for brushes. Brushes are for just about every tool in Photoshop. So it you almost get lost in that thought right there. So that's just another way to do it. And I wanted to show you how you can use a brush on a different tool. So please move on to the next video.